What's up guys, my name is Sick Number here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you coming out of basically nowhere and that is how to pull all data off of your Android phone. So recently one of my batteries bloated and literally almost exploded. The second one that I'm using on my phone currently is having issues, dropped to 0% battery for no reason, got a little bit warm and I'm super worried about something happening within the phone. So here's the quickest way to pull data off of an Android phone to your PC. So first of all, you'll need developer options enabled and you'll need to enable USB debugging. I'm not gonna show you that here, but there's a bajillion tutorials and you can find the exact correct one for your phone. So how exactly do you get all of your data off of your phone very quickly? Well, you'll need a cable and you'll need to connect it to your computer with a USB debugging. And once you've got that far, you need to go ahead and download something from Google called ADB. So we'll head across to this page in the description down below. That's an official Google page on android.com, SDK platform tools, release notes. And down here you can see download SDK platform tools for Windows. We'll be clicking on that, hit agree and click download. Next, a platform tools zip will download. Simply open it as soon as it's done and then extract it to something like your desktop. Then you can close the zip once it's done. And at the very top where the folder location is, you'll be clicking there and typing in CMD. Hit enter and you'll see a command prompt window pop up. Next, we'll be typing in ADB space devices and hitting enter. It'll then tell us what devices are attached. And currently I have my LG G5 attached, so it's showing over here. It may say something about starting a server or starting a daemon, but don't worry about that. It's just starting up a way to connect to your phone. As long as you see your device here, you set it up successfully, developer tools are enabled, and USB debugging is also enabled. Then we'll simply type in ADB shell, and we get command access on the phone. So let's just type in ls and hit enter. It'll then list out every folder on the phone. So if we were to do cd sd card, which is the default name for your actual internal storage, we can type in ls and it'll tell us what's inside of our internal storage. I'm not entirely sure what a micro SD card would be, but anyways, the internal storage is SD card. And of course, if you have an actual physical SD card, you can pull it out of your phone and put it into a new one or somewhere else to take the data off. So we'll then type in EXIT exit and hit enter and we'll get back to this page over here. Next we'll type in ADB pull SD card space and we'll put a folder location. So inside of the folder with ADB, I'll right click new folder and I'll just call it say something like SD. Open it up copy the URL from the top and we'll be pasting it into the end of this using control V or right click. Then we'll hit enter. It'll build a file list and then it should immediately start pulling files off of your phone onto your PC inside of this folder. So I found out that my PC gets super slow when I'm doing this. However, opening up the SD card folder, you can see a ton of folders already here inside of gallery, which it's currently copying now. It's copying thousands of files a minute. So of course you're gonna let this run to completion. And if you hit an error, then things do get a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna press Control C to cancel it. Say that you do hit an error before it reaches 100%. How exactly do you go about resuming and pull more data? Well, unfortunately over here, I reached an error where it said, cannot create, blah, 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 no such file or directory. And it stopped somewhere around 60%. Of course I want 100% of my data and not to leave anything behind. So say that yours got to 100%, perfect. Then you can close out of this and you can continue with your day. If it doesn't, however, we'll be doing something a little bit more extreme. So we'll do ADB pull SD card, and then we'll put a backslash. And here's where we'll be typing in everything else. So say you want to pull your gallery first as it's probably the biggest thing on your phone. You'll type in gallery and then we'll put another slash and you'd start pulling albums one by one and hopefully your files are distributed enough that you can pull a folder, the next folder, the next folder and make sure that you go through everything one by one. Of course, you'll be using the built-in file browser on your phone to verify that you're doing things properly and that's that. So of course, we're pulling a gallery. So we'll put a space and we'll copy and paste this gallery folder as an output, hit enter and it'll start copying. Unfortunately, I put backslashes but they're meant to be forward slashes so ADB pull SD card forward slash gallery forward slash space and then the folder that you want them to copy to. 
Anyways, that's a super simple way of pulling data right off of your device very quickly. And it does in fact work, especially if you don't hit any errors. If you do, things do get a little bit tedious, but it is still a hell of a lot faster than using the built-in Windows Explorer to try and pull files one by one. Anyways, my name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoots. I hope this helps you, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.